Hello, welcome to Algorithms. Uh, my name is Saurabh and today we are going to uh, discuss uh, differences between SAML, OAuth, OpenID uh, and, and what are their applications. Now, since we spoke about uh, uh, identity and access management, I guess uh, in order to go further to understand the whole structure, you need to have a, a basic understanding of OAuth, OpenID, Connect and uh, security assertion markup language uh, because each of these uh, brings a structure to the federation process and uh, and the reason I, I want to discuss about uh, uh, these uh, protocols is to bring clarity in your mind uh, and uh, so that you know when to apply which type of uh, protocol whether it is going to be OAuth 2 or OpenID or SAML when you are designing architecture okay I don't want to go too deep but at the same time I want to bring you to a level where you understand because there are a lot of uh, enterprise architect solution architect uh, sometimes they know there are these protocols but they don't know the differences and their applications okay so let's get started so very simple definition we know authorization and authentication or authentication and authorization now generally authentication and authorizations is used uh, interchangeably by a lot of people those who are uh, not much aware about uh, identity platforms and how it works but a uh, lot of people i have uh, spoken to they use authorization and authentication interchangeably but uh, for architects uh, and for people who are into cyber security for them it is different so authorization structure protocols are different than authentication so here OAuth 2 is actually used for authorization and it is a framework that controls uh, the overall authorization process and it protects uh, uh, resources such as applications or set of files and so on and so forth. Now OpenID Connect is built on top of OAuth 2.0 protocol and uh, uses JSON a web token uh, to manage uh, scopes and endpoint discovery and it is actually used for the authentication purpose. Now, SAML 2.0 is also used for authentication purpose, but uh, it uses uh, XML format, uh, uh, not the JSON format. And it is more commonly used to help enterprise users sign into multiple applications uh, using a single sign-on uh, approach. So within organization, uh, you are going to see that uh, uh, SAML 2.0 is used uh, usually and outside like federated authentic uh, authentication for federated authentication like if there is a customer or partner those who log into the system they use uh, uh, open id uh, for uh, for authentication purpose because it is lightweight now when it comes to uh, application of uh, oauth2 and open id uh, and uh, saml uh, I'm going to give you a very simple example. For instance, uh, uh, when you sign up to a new application and agree to let it automatically source new contacts uh, via, for instance, Facebook uh, or your phone contacts, uh, then you are uh, most likely using OAuth 2.0. So this standard provides uh, secure delegated access. That means an application can take actions or access resources from a server on behalf of a user without uh, uh, having them to log in uh, into the system. So it does this by allowing uh, uh, any identity provider to issue tokens to third party applications uh, with the user's approval. So I hope uh, so you almost everybody those who uses uh, uh, phones or uh, Facebook or LinkedIn uh, every time or when you log in uh, you get to see that okay do you want to import uh, contacts from your phone uh, and and that's where you see OAuth 2 
is used most of the time now open id connect so for instance uh, when you use uh, google and you like to sign into youtube or facebook using your google account uh, that's basically a uh, uh, open id connect most of the time so open id connect is an open standard that organizations use to authenticate users so idps use this so that users can sign into the idp and then access other websites and apps without having to log in to share uh, their sign in information as i said you use your gmail id and log into youtube as well as facebook now saml uh, uh, so you have uh, more likely experienced saml authentication in action uh, in 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 the enterprises uh, at your workplace for example uh, you are using application a but you want to for instance you are using salesforce and then you want to move to some erp application it could be a box workday or whatever so you can uh, you can access that application without uh, re-entering your credentials. Uh, so SAML is an Excel based standard for exchanging authentication and authorization data between IDPs and service provider to verify the user identities and permissions, then grant or deny their access to the services depending upon what sort of uh, access they have. Okay. So I guess uh, this uh, explains you guys uh, about uh, uh, the differences between first the definition of these three different protocols and then how it apply, how it is applicable in the real world scenarios. So for instance, we discussed about three different examples for three different scenarios. Uh, I guess this is it from my side. Uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, watching this video until end and if you liked it please push the like button and leave your comments below if you have any feedback please provide your feedback in the comment section i'll definitely try to incorporate those feedback as well if you have any further questions uh, please write an email to saurabh at algorithms.com or baljeet at algorithms.com or you can drop a message on the given phone number uh, thank you very much have a great day